Okay, we have just done our introduction and now we're looking at all of the different variables and I'm going to do a second example with a converging lens. So this here is a converging lens. There are basically two different options you get when you're doing a ray construction. The object, if your object is closer than one focal length to the lens or mirror, and one that if it's farther from one focal uh, than one focal length. And in fact, I have to be a little more specific. It's if it's closer than the secondary focal point or farther than the secondary focal point. So in this case, I drew one so that it's closer than the secondary focal point. So now, let's go ahead and do our ray construction. So I've got the three rays already written here. I have the parallel ray, so I'm going to start at the tip of my object and go parallel to the principal axis until I hit my lens. And then it'll ref refract and go through the principal focal point. That's my parallel ray. Now for the focal ray, that's not focal. The focal ray, uh-oh. <laughs> it was supposed to go through, from the tip of the object, through the secondary focal point. But if I do that, it's never going to hit the lens. Well, what we do in that case is we start at the secondary focal point and we go through the tip until I hit the lens. Now, if you look at this, I went above my lens. Is that a problem? Nah, I am not concerned. How does the focal ray work? Well, if it started at the secondary focal point, when it hits the lens, it's going to come out parallel to the principal axis. So now I draw a parallel line. And we see, uh oh, these two are diverging. They're not converging. They're not coming together. That does not mean that we don't form an image. That means we don't form a real image. We still form an image, but it's going to be virtual because it will be the projections. Let's do the third ray and then let's find where the image is. So the third ray is the vertex ray. The vertex ray starts at the tip of the object, goes through the vertex, and then keeps going. I will label the vertex here in black just so we have it labeled. So that there is the vertex V. Okay, so these three exit rays if we draw arrows on them, we see that these three exit rays never meet. So what is a student to do when they never meet? You take extrapolations. So since I'm on blue, I'm going to do the extrapolation of the focal ray. So I am just going to take this here, my focal ray, and extrapolate backward in a straight line. Okay, so that's extrapolation of the focal ray. Now let me go to the vertex ray and do an extrapolation of the vertex ray. Now this one here is going to be a lot harder because I have to actually eyeball to see if I do a straight line and then, okay, I'm going to use the line tool because then I don't have to eyeball it. It won't be dashed, but at least we'll be able to see and know that it's the right thing. So I'm just going to take the end here and extrapolate this one back and try to hit the tip of my screen. Okay, so there's an extrapolation back. I will dash it a little bit manually. So there's the extrapolated ray. I'm sorry about the uneven dashing. And then finally for my focal ray, now, in all of these cases, note that it is, I am extrapolating, that's not the right place. I am extrapolating the refracted ray back to find where they all meet. And so let me dash this extrapolation a bit too. And we see that they all appear to meet at about the same location. So once again, just like I did when I was doing my first image construction, I'm going to make an arrow here, 
that starts at the principal axis and goes to where they meet. So I'll take the center one. And that appears about like, huh. So now, putting my names on these, I started with an object here. And I had the image here. Now, if I were to describe that image, that image is upright. So it's an upright. And is it enlarged? Oh, absolutely. Enlarged. Is it real or virtual? Did the rays actually meet? On this side here, where the rays were solid, nope, they didn't meet. That means it's not a real image. It was the extrapolations that met, so it's a virtual image. And once again, like I told you before, the virtual and upright go together. So if I have an object closer than the secondary focal point to a converging lens, I'm going to have an enlarged virtual upright image. If the object was farther than the focal point, then I'm going to have an inverted real image. It will actually be enlarged if you are closer than two focal lengths and diminished if you're farther than two focal lengths. But you can always figure that out with your ray drawings. So this is the end of our discussion on converging lenses.